Hello, David. How are you? Hey, Lawrence. It's very good. Thanks. To see you back at the show. I'm pleased to be here. It's great to have you back in the industry. So, thanks. what's your first thoughts on being back? Oh, it's lovely to see everybody again. I mean, yeah. obviously, I was back in the States the last five or six years and sort of slightly lost, lost touch with some of the guys over here. But then having come back again, it's amazing. It's the same faces. It's most of the people yeah, that I knew anyway. Been and away. We kind of take up where we left off. So, yeah. uh, no, it's just lovely to see everybody again. So, what's this new venture you've got yourself into then? Yeah, it's actually been quite an exciting time. So I came back from the States. I left Textron at the end of 16, beginning of 17, and uh, it took me three or four months to kind of unwind my affairs in, in America, then moved back over here uh, in April. Took a little bit of time off, yeah, played yeah, yeah. a little golf. Didn't get any better, but I played a little golf. Yeah, and then um, I was approached by Izeki, uh, who were looking at potentially setting up their own uh, distribution in the yeah, yeah. UK. Obviously, they've gone through ransoms for many, many years. In fact, I was involved back in 96 with the bringing of the franchise into Jacobson right, at yeah. that time. So I've known these guys for a very, very long time. And um, they were just looking for something that was more dedicated and focused on the Iseki brand. Ransom's actually done a really good job with yeah. it over the years. And I think everybody acknowledges that and Iseki acknowledged that as well. But they just wanted to have somebody really focused on it. Yeah. And uh, I was available and so well, we man. started Iseki UK. So yeah, here so we are. To do since you've been back, what's the sort of plan? Or? Yeah, so we really only got everything all signed off and approved around about uh, December time, November, December. Uh, so since then we found premises, had them renovated and sorted out so they're the specification that we need. Um, and then we've hired staff, uh, got a computer system in place, started getting the inventory in. Um, so yeah, a lot of work's gone on over the last, what, seven, eight weeks. Yeah. And realistically, probably another three weeks to go before I would say we are fully functional and fully operational. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's just been takes around a, a long while. time, so people know the product, don't they? And well, that's what's exciting for me. I mean, this is a known brand. Everybody knows it's a quality product, and I think unlike some of the other tractor manufacturers, they've really stuck with their guns, I think in that when you look at the product, it's not been cheapened. No. There's not a ton of plastic on it or anything like that. It's still a very solid tractor. And no question, when you think about the cut and collect element of yeah, yeah. either tractors or mowers, it's the best cut and collect mower that there is out there by a mile. And um, so no, it's exciting for me because you know I've traded with them for years. I've always found them to be good people to do business with. And the product itself, I think, really has stood the test of time. And, and they haven't gone down that route of saying, we've got to hit a price point, therefore we're yeah. going to cheapen the mower or cheapen the tractor to hit that price point. So, no, it's a great, great opportunity. Oh, fantastic. Well, I hope you have a good show and uh, enjoy your new, new venture and uh, we'll see plenty of you in the future. Now, well, thanks, Lawrence. No, it's great to be back and lovely to talk to you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks.